Oh, she got silenced! I didn't see the triple dodge, she got silenced! Okay, we, we got rid of Kalhan. And the vsh! Oh! And the vsh! Oh! Hello, everybody, once again! This is Aqua Kazoo. Welcome back to another 7 Nights video. Today, we take a look at Awakened Dalons. Alright. I promised you guys that I was gonna do this video and this week I'll be doing for math because I'm really really busy this week but I'll still do a arena PP video for you guys while you know giving a short review not really a short one but a review on Awakened Dalons and not just any Dalons a level 46 Awakened Dalons plus 10 here and not just that double plus 5 weapons not the best plus 5 weapons Awakened Armors 34 and 35 percent and then a critical damage ring uh, with a Substat unlocked with 30% chance to paralyze the enemy. And last but not the least, I also limit break it. I'm a little bit short on materials for the last one. As you can see, you need 300 uh, soul crystal one. For two, you need 150. And for three, you need 30. I need another 22 more. And you can see I'm actually broke. And the reason why I'm broke as well is because I got my ballista to 46 up from 32. I used four Phenas and I managed to get enough copies to get her to 38. So I use four co uh, four copies of Phenas, and you can see that my goal. I think the last video I had like three million ish goal, four million ish goal. I'm down to hundred and sixty thousand. So I've actually used almost everything, and my ballista. I'll talk about her next time, but you can see she's not really that ready yet. And last, uh, not to forget the jewels for my awakened down. This one is pretty cool, right? I like this one. I have the legendary Ace Brilliant plus five, which is the four loss jewel when introduced it for a short period of time, and, and as you can see. I have the basic attack plus 30%. So my basic attack hits 30% harder if I'm not wrong. And I try to give the best things for him. And my counter rate for my Ballista is actually higher than my downs. But nowadays you don't actually have so many 25 man AoE skills. So you have your you know target priority from Miho. So the odds of my downs still countering. And I think what I realized from uh, observing all the top arena players is that they all, they all just use the counter, you know, and I think they're 1%, like, maybe Dallas is 1% higher than Ballista, but at the, end, at the end of the day, I think they know that either if either one of them survives and they're countering, usually you should be able to close out the match. And I'll talk about it, why. So, Awakened Dallas, what's the review here? So let's take a look at the skills first. Passive. Basically, you have the usual, you know, 50% damage buff for all allies. You have 5 Void Shoes up from 4 from Pre-Awakening, and you're immune to Reflection. And last but not the least, you have increased accuracy rate as well, which puts Dallons kind of a counter against Evan, against Nerza, against Jave, you know, those reflect counter teams, I mean reflect teams, and also kind of a counter against Kahan. I'll elaborate more about that later, but we'll move on to the next skill, you know, your daily strike is called uh, Raging Reaper in its awakened form. Again, huge damage, and Reaper's Judgment, this is the silence one, and you can see for one target or more, deal an additional damage of 20% of the target's max HP. So that's pretty cool as well. A damage based on the max HP of the target. And again, this is supposed to work against you know tough heroes like Dallons. I would say Karma as well, since nowadays people don't actually use guarantee crit heroes. But obviously Dallons, when he's awakened, all his basic attacks will be a guaranteed crit. I believe Raging Reaper is also guaranteed crit and pierce as well. And yeah, this one's not guaranteed crit. So why is uh, Wicken Down so good? Whenever you actually basic attack, you'll hit three enemies, not one, but three. And which is why the 30% basic attack for Lost Jewel, which is not available now, I think maybe they'll introduce it again in the future again, and it's gonna be a short period of time. That's where you really wanna try and summon for it. But this is actually really, really good for my Dalons. I think against an Evan that's level 46, I think decked out, I'm doing like 2.4k crits. Which is actually quite a lot. I mean, when you actually see the the actual match, it's only like I think twenty percent HP or thirty percent. But to just basic attack, uh, Evan, and take away twenty five percent of HP, that's pretty pretty cool. And obviously, you know, Dallons is not affected by reflex, so you can do that as many times as he wants. And let's talk about um my overview view of Dallons. All right. So the final thing is when I was using him to climb from from like because I actually dropped the 3k because I didn't get the 3.8k last week but I'm actually back at 3.9k already I think let me just check real quick on oh, my 4k I think I'm a, a win away from 4k 
I'm close to 4k, so I'll try to hit 4k this week, but basically, it took me a while to climb to 3.6, but somehow when I hit 3.6, uh, my lineup becomes a lot more uh, effective against the people that I was playing against, and I, I was actually 5-0 earlier today when I did the arena loop. But, some of the main weaknesses of Dalons is that once his 5 Void Shoes is burnt out before he awakens, you have a problem because he dies too early, he can't even awaken, and when he doesn't awaken, he doesn't get 5 more Void Shoes, and he ends up dying early in the game. That's why you actually see people using Dalons with Evan, where the Shoe of Order will actually give Dalons one more Void Shoe, which is probably one more skill. And this puts Dalons very vulnerable to heroes that have target priority, like Awaken Miho, and I believe Awaken Kalhan. Because I believe protecting Whirlwind has target priority, if I recall correctly. Yep, highest attack, highest physical attack. And of course, Miho herself has target priority on Arrogant Strike and Dance of Carnage. So Miho actually counters downs really, really hard. Because after she uses Dance of Carnage and Arrogant Strike, your downs is down to one Void Shoot, I believe. Both skills hits uh, two times, yep. So he's down to one Void Shoe. So Miho counters down really, really hard. And then, you know, another character that has double hit. Like, almost every character has multi-hit skills now. And then the next skill will bring your Dalons down to like, maybe 25% HP, 50% HP. And that's where you see people actually use double HP on Dalons. But my issue with double HP on Dalons is that you're trying to keep him alive till the end. And then hopefully, he will be able to finish off the opponents with his speed attack and with his skills. That's what you aim to do, but I've looked, I've looked at all the top arena players, Dallons, and they have all gone counter, so I'm going to trust their judgement for now. But I believe in the early ratings, maybe from 3k, so around 4. Point, anything 4.3, maybe you want to do a double HP setup, but I went for the double counter uh, setup, because it's just really fun to see him counter and you see 3 people get hit by his special attack when he gets awakened. So Dallons is actually quite vulnerable. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna replace my Rin. My Ballista has 87 speed, I believe my Rin has 30, 88, sorry, 88 versus 87, so I'll be one speed slower, but I'm gonna try this setup instead because Rin seems to be quote unquote out of meta right now, and I really wanna put my Ballista to good use since I've used almost all my resources, less my rubies to get it up. And you can see this is why I actually put my downs in front. I actually tried to set up where I put the downs at the back where Calhan is, and it didn't matter because it's still gonna get a uh, priority target by, you know, priority target skills, so I just put him in front, so that he can counter more, and we'll see how it goes. So, this is actually the first time I'm doing this sign up, I'm, hope I'm hoping that I can actually get uh, to above 4k. Alright, we're gonna do 10 arena games since we're not doing for math, and we'll see how it goes, alright, against Gyudas. It's gonna be exciting, I think. Okay, I'm still faster. Downs is very fast. He has a level 44 downs. You can see he put it in front as well, but he's probably going for a HP setup. We will actually find out really soon. But you can see Miho straight away. Oh, that's my Miho. Already hitting the downs of the opponent. And his obviously will hit mine. Oh, it's actually hitting the back tree. My downs have lesser P attack than the tree at the back. Oh, this might work out. You can see the opponent's downs is already gone. <laughs> Do you see how fast that happened? I think I managed to speed attack his downs once. Which is probably why you don't put the downs in front, I guess. Make him more vulnerable to speed attack from the beginning. Maybe that's a mistake, but we'll see how it goes. Alright. 5k basic attack. See that going on? Ooh, actually this is looking out. My Ballista, Kalkon, and Yuri actually have higher M attack and P attack than my downs. So I think that's the strat, guys. I think that's the strat. I'm not worried about Kalhan when I have talents, as long as my Dalons doesn't die, it's gonna counter him. Oh! There we go, Grip of Annihilation. This animation is really, really nice. What's Karma gonna do? Okay, watch the counter guys, it's gonna be beautiful, watch. 5.8k! <laughs> I guess my lineup is complete. Let's not be too, let's not get ahead of ourselves, you know, maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose the next 4 games, but so far it's looking good. <laughs> so far it's looking good, I'm actually surprised my Ballista has higher damage. And you can see, now people start to use Karma in their lineup because they realize that Rin is out of meta, so there's no one to actually burst uh, Karma down. I, but I guess the almost actually counters that if you have the Raging Reaper, you know, the Deadly Strike, so... Yeah, 
This is just the beginning. Alright, game two. Here we go. It's gonna be real fast. Medela. Oh, Medellin. Medellin or Medellin. Maitlin. Zinri. Names are hard. Hey. Look at the Evan. My, my cow will never be able to do that much damage. You know? And this is actually without any, you know, of those, uh, like, physical damage buffs. This is just my karma, not my karma, my Dallin's buffing himself. No, like, Eileen or no, you know, alluring Ember yet. Ooh, there we go. So my Ballista got a counter as well. This guy has no down, so that's where the Miho doesn't really come into play. That's assuming that, that again, your Dallin's is one of the three highest physical attack. Heroes or magical attack heroes on the team. But you can see I have no key rail, so my back line is essentially like fodder to reflect. Which which basically makes my team like Dalons centric. You see Kalan now when you have the accuracy rate increase, but again it's still up to RNG by the way. You can actually miss. It's not like you cannot miss. No. Alright, here we go. Grip of annihilation. Oh yeah, so forgot to mention. One key Weakness of uh, Dallons is that somehow, I don't know whether they fixed it, maybe they fixed it after the recent patch. His awakening skill doesn't take priority, like straight up. Like even when he's the only awakened hero, like he's the only guy that can awaken right, you will see like maybe your, 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 what's that, your Miho or you know, your, oh there you go, push my down behind, you know, or your Yuri casting skills first. Like after Awakening, I know that Miho has high lethal, Yuri has high lethal, so it makes sense that they have priority. Oh, here we go, the counter guys, watch. Oh shit, my watch is down already. Right? Wait, there's no counter. Oh yeah, because the debuff. It's actually not good. I actually lost to another Yuri. Okay. It's not gonna be that easy, I guess. Not that smooth. This is game number three. I actually didn't get to see how I lost that game. My downs awakened and I still lost. I think it's because I didn't get the counter. Like if I counter the silent flame there, I think it's a triple kill straight up. But somehow my downs didn't counter. Uh oh. So ballista. I mean you can still see that people are using uh Oh, this is Yuri in like Cop Arena, so that's a I, I guess that's a real reason why, you know. Okay, one more reason why it's okay for my Ballista to have higher counter than my downs at the beginning is because Ballista has the 2k fixed damage, right, on the third attack, even before she awakens. So, oh shit, my downs is dead. All right, time to see my Ballista do her work. That's what I mean. I think I think her Miho actually. Did something, so I don't know. At least the uh, Ballista is dead, my Ballista is alive, I still got my Calhoun alive, but Glorious Siam did do a lot of debuffs? I actually don't know. Counter, I think this one will do the third hit. Boom! There we go. So even when my downs is dead, I still got my backup uh Ballista. That's what I mean man. Either one of them survive Calhoun, Ballista or Dalons, you will have a winning chance. You know, you will have actually, you actually have a decent winning chance. And my Ballista hasn't been awakened yet. So, let's see how this goes. And then, another 2k. That's what I mean. I think my Ballista might be dead here. 2000 damage. Is the HP that high? Oh, she dodged. Alright! <laughs> She has death debuff accessory along with silence. That's what I put on her. Because I actually unlocked a death ring in the past. Wait, no, I cannot have double. Wait. I can't remember already. I think it's death with counter, sorry. Death with counter. Alright, so that's match 3. We're going to match 4. So I've, I've read a YouTube comments. Many people feel that Downs is a bit underwhelming. Actually, I think it's fine. I think it's better than the Korean version, right? If I'm not wrong. It's different from the Korean version for sure. I'm not sure if it's better or for worse. Alright, I removed one debuff immunity. He also removed one buff in, uh, immu debuff immunity on me. But I got my Alluring Embers already, so... He's good. Oh my, you can... 
But Miho doesn't counter me. How did my Dallas lose all his Void Shoes in the match that I lost? I'm actually very confused now. You can see his Dallas is being hit right now. One Void Shoes left for his Dallas. My Yuri has already done a job with uh, Alluring Embers. He has actually a level 42 kill. Death debuff, nice. Oh, the 2000 damage, but the Void Shoes. Shout out Despair. My Dallas is gonna take damage, I think. No, wait. Not quite yet. He still has one Void Shoes left. Miho is dead. Ooh, my Ballista Awakens. I kinda like the new costume. The character icon is nice, but the actual model in game is. It's like. It's not bad, but it's not like fantastic, you know? Another 2000. Oh, my Kalan actually ripped. Okay, Teo got buff duration reduction. He still doesn't actually hit hard. Oh no, my downs died. And I have no... I don't have any... Oh... Wait, my Ballista is still alive. Alright! Okay. Alright, we move all the debuff immunities, but I think my Ballista ran out of Void Shoes. And I didn't electrify him. No, my Ballista still... Oh, she still has. Oh, death debuff. And I think she's gonna do the 2k after this. Come on! 2k! Oh, it missed! Oh, I think she has one more white shoe, the one that's flashing there. Close! Kill him! Yes! Oh boy, that was close. That was really close. Ballista carry guys. Not even max Ballista yet. Yeah. I think if I if I if I had plus five on my my second awakened weapon, I should have been able to kill the Ballista the Kalon on the first. But again, as you can see, it's all RNG on you know against evasion heroes. So far my lineup I'm pretty happy with the investment I've made. He has a Ballista. Wait, he's using a Ruri? Wow. Awakened Ruri in Arena. I'll talk about the, the changed uh, Crusader revamp on a Monday, usual Monday video. But wow. Awakened Ruri. 3.9k rating. Interesting lineup. This is actually the first time I've seen her in Arena. Alright, we remove all the debuff. Immunity. Okay, at least on actually nobody, just one. Here comes the two K. Ow. Downs counters. Oh yeah, one more thing about using double counter is that you know they have all the masteries. It doesn't mean that your character will actually counter. You know what I'm trying to say, right? So I think in that case, even though my ballista got hit, my downs counter. That means my ballista actually didn't counter. In that, in that know that skill like she didn't get the counter in the first place but that one's got the counter so he counter instead but i want to see more counters from my, my downs okay let's see who counters this time if, if my downs counter is gonna be a beautiful slash come on downs oh it's the ballista it's fine another 2000 fix okay ruri's awakening skills coming out the lineup is actually surprisingly tanky. Steady aim. What does this do? That damage though. My. Okay, this is actually the carry. Can Dallons carry this? Can Dallons carry this? It's his turn to counter now. Oh shit, that's a two hit skill. Here we go, watch the counter. No, that's not counter. He didn't counter it. Oh, the Ruri is double HP. Oh no. Oh no, and he has the he has that. Come on, speed attack them. Oh. Can Dons carry these guys? That one basic attack is going to but they have the shield of order. Oh, come on, speed. Oh no. Gonna be close. I don't think this is enough. The Ruri is very tanky. Oh, it's enough, Tree Man. Down's carrot, guys. Woof. 
Do you know if he didn't have the shield of order void shield? They would have got it will be a triple kill, but it wasn't a triple kill. Alright, this is match number six. Manaha. Very familiar name, I don't know why. Is it from a game? Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Chris, Jave, Evan, Yuri, Alicia. This is the lineup I need to beat. Yeah, this is the lineup I need to beat. This is very interesting. This is the hybrid turtle lineup that I was talking about, I think, three weeks ago. Like people use Yuri to land the alluring ember for the buff so that they can actually do damage with their other heroes. And the Lisa is kind of there to counter another turtle lineup, I guess. But turtle lineups are not that popular anymore. And turtle lineups are not good against the Lister. Look at how they are melting right now. Let's not be too happy, right? Uh, quite yet. But it should be no problem to beat this. Because no Karen, there's no Miracle of Destruction RNG moment, you know what I'm saying? So Yuri dies once, Jave is dead already. Wings of Revenge is gonna proc my counter. More shit to do for my Ballista. Pew pew! Wait, no counter. Rip, but it's okay. Okay, so Chris will fall here. He's gonna revive, but I use my Protecting Whirlwind. But I still have a lot of skills that removes buff duration. And worst come to worst, he can be debuffed by my Dowlons. Here comes the fixed damage. My Ballista dies, but here comes my Dowlons counter, but not quite yet. Grip, no. This is what I mean, you can see. I could have awakened there. But, yeah, high lethal seems to take precedence over, um, you know. See, my Dawson didn't get, actually didn't get hit much. So this group of Annihilation is not really a value group of Annihilation. But, you know, we want to get that triple basic attack ASAP. Rough duration reduction. And now I don't have a situation where I have my Calhan 1 versus 1 against an Evan, so... Ah, oh, Raging Reaper! Used on the Chris is dead, man. The animation though. There we go! Bring it! So he's basically a sitting duck right now. Just waiting to see how he dies. So Chris is dead. Alicia ran out of, you know, immunity turns. And oh, just an Evan. But your Evan ain't gonna do shit against my Dalons, what up? <laughs> Poor Calhan though, is he gonna kill himself by killing Evan? Okay, he didn't die. It's close to dying. He didn't die. So far, so good. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Alright, match number 7. Four more to go. About wow, 4k. Looking good. Looking good. Hopefully we don't lose the rest of our, our games. Okay, that's a Rin! That's a Rin. Oh, the Dalans have higher damage. So the Yuri doesn't have higher damage than the Dalans. So it's actually a bad thing if you think about it. My Yuri actually has higher damage than my Dalans on paper. But I didn't do it on purpose, I'll be frank with you guys. I even limit break my Dalans, I'll show you guys, right? Wait, somehow this is on my... Wait, is it random? You target the guy with the highest attack and then one of the other two people? Is that how it works? This is so weird. How oh, did you hit my Calhan, Yuri, and Ballista? The last bunch of matches, and then in this match, in this match, it's hitting my Dawn. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense, right? So it's actually one guy and, and another two random guys. But but it's definitely not my Dawn. That means the highest attack person is not my Dawn. Because if you think about it, then you should always hit my Dawn. So it's either my Yuri or my Ballista. I actually think it's the Ballista. Because Ballista is like beside Calhan and Yuri and Dallans, you think about it. But I didn't hit my Miho at all. I don't get it, man. Ugh. Ugh. My Dallans is dead. Ugh. My Ballista dies as well, so it, have come, it has come down to this, guys. Calhan versus the Woe again. I'm gonna lose because this guy probably has the debuff thing. I think. Okay, we remove one of his debuff, it doesn't matter for me because I don't have any debuff. Yeah, I think we lost. I have no faith in my Calhan. Zero faith in my Calhan. Just double missed on the protecting whirlwind. 
Still got glory of the science, but yeah. Oh, oh, three point three k to the face. Mythos and whore, or how? I think it's how. All right, match number eight. He's good. Sometimes it's the reverse psychology. I think my stream will know what I mean, man. Sometimes you have to talk shit down on yourself or the or the things that you use so that you know they prove you wrong. And that's exactly what happened there, Kappa. Oh! <laughs> Alright, we take away all the white shoes of Yuri. She gets one back, so she'll order. Remove some turns on the, the buff immunity. It didn't hit uh, Kyawad, I think. I don't think Silent Flame is 5 men, it was 4 men. Cooldown increase, which means my Kyawad gets to attack next. Yuri dies once. This, you see, this one doesn't hit my downs. So I think it's my Ballista that's the highest damage right now. I will track after the arena. You know? Counter from downs. Nope, Ballista. 2k! Shadow of death. So two more counters from her, and we'll see another two K and more debuff immunity. Oh wait, he has a Karen. I just realized. But I think we're still good. I think we're still good. You killed the Karen once. She's gonna rest. Which is good because she has not used a revive yet. So if she dies again somehow, then we are good. And my downs is alive. But Yuri dies. My downs refreshes his uh, five white shoes. If I kill Karen again, it should be in the bag. I just need to make sure that she dies now. I don't think she's gonna die though. I don't think Reaper's Dragon is enough damage. Yep, not enough. Oh! See the Evan rip, and she doesn't have Miracle of Destruction yet. The counter is gonna do it again. Watch. Wait, no, my Ballista did it. Uh oh, that's not good actually. Because that means there's gonna be a Miracle of Destruction and it's gonna be out on my Dalons. Oh, didn't use Miracle of Destruction yet. Oh, she got silenced. I didn't see the triple dot. She got silenced. Okay, we, we got rid of Calhan. And the vsh! Oh. Oh. 2k pierce! Vsh! <laughs> vsh! Damage immune. It's okay, she's doing a keep but I 2k pierce. There you go. Dalons and Ballista versus 4, I think. Was it? I think 5. The Karen got clutch silence. Holy shit, Stevie. He's bad, man. Match number nine. I really like the, the tree hit basic like that. It's like a wave, you know. It's like a talent strike from tail, but you know, the faster, the sped up version. If talent strike felt or looked that good, you know. Okay, then it's no tree of order. Who's going to use skill next? I think it's Gale Blast. Oh, Meteor Shower. Strength of the line. Kind of feel bad for my awakening shot, so I'm not using Kira anymore. Some scratches. Oh shit. Sound good. Okay, Gale Blast will remove all the Shoe of Order. White Shoes. Wings of Revenge. It's gonna heal him back up. Ballista is going to counter. My Miho is Danzo. Oh man, look at that daily strike. Oh, oh, boom! Goodbye, Evan! Goodbye. Hey, is my downs dead? Oh no, he needs to awaken now. But who's going to awaken first? No! Oh, that... 2k fix damage saved him! 
That's not fair! That's not fair! My ballista's gonna die! Not quite yet! Don't die! Awaken first! Okay, five, five more white shoes. It's your turn now, Ballista. Your turn to carry. Dallas took the hit. But he also awakens. It's gonna be... It's gonna be... Awkward. She's bad. Easy. Oh man, the 2k fix damage. She's gonna have it first. Oof. Oh man, I still got a Kalhan Miho to deal with. Glory of Siam. Miho is still alive! She's gonna do Okay. At least we didn't get Shout of Despair first. I think Shout of Despair is done because my Ballista is gonna counter and it's gonna be 2k. Boom! Alright! Ballista versus 2! 2k fix damage! Yo, she has no more shoes! Glory of Siam! Is it gonna miss? No, it didn't miss! She didn't die though! And she didn't- Oh, she still has debuff immunity! The stun! She's gonna do 2k fix damage. <gasps> she's gonna dodge. She didn't dodge! She dodged one of them! That was close! <laughs> Kalhan and Ballista put through in the end. Alright! Last! Last game. Okay, my Yuri has done the job. She's done already, she can die now. Careful. As long as you get the debuff from Evan, Evan is very squishy. The luring embers. Somehow hitting my balance again. What changed? Like if you actually watch the first two matches or the first three matches that I had, the Mio doesn't hit my down, right? Did I remember wrongly? No. I'm pretty sure I didn't thought I was talking about it. But somehow it hits my down now. Break! Sure of order is such a value skill for 5 hit watch heroes. Ballista, Dalons, Calhan. You name it, you have it. And now my downs is vulnerable because of all this. He has one more Void Shoe, I think, but that means any other skill will tear through. You know? So it's Ballista and Calhoun versus Downs. But if my downs dies before awakening, then we are screwed pretty much. So this will do, I think, my Q Downs because it's two hit skill 500 damage. <gasps> Oh, he could awaken, but he decided to use Reaper's Charge with this. Not good. Okay, but... Oh. If my Ballista dies, I think I'll lose. Okay, my Ballista didn't die. And... Into the face of a Brut Jija. Looking at this, I might hit 4.3k. I'm not too sure, actually. Let's see how it goes. But that's it for this week's arena video. Level 46 Awakened Downloads review and showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to storm that like button. And as always, I'm in partnership with Nox Player. So do check out Nox Player. Links again, use the link in the description below to check out Nox Player and use it if you want to support my channel. I really appreciate it if you go check out the link. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday. My name is Minako Kazu. Thanks for watching once again. You know, follow the Twitch, subscribe to the YouTube channel, all those good stuff. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Bye bye.